This is the Kinesk watch. And I'm going to do a review of it today. While doing some research on this very watch, I didn't see any real YouTube video reviews, so I thought I'd fix that. I also want to compare it to another watch I have, which I'll be referring to a little bit. This is a Vare, but this is the Kniss watch. It is from Japan. And if you notice, it's a rather simple watch in the sense it doesn't have a day or date function. There's no GMT. It is just a watch. And so why, after many decades, am I starting to wear a watch again? Because of these infernal things. The magic boxes that have removed so many various items from our daily carry. And the problem is, you look at the time, and then you are distracted. And you get sucked in to doing something else instead of just flicking your wrist and looking at the watch. And, oh, it's a little after 4.10. And that's all I, the information I needed to know. So, the Kniss watch is a relatively new brand, or at least I can tell. It's made in Japan, Kyoto. It uses the Miyota automatic movement. And while the website doesn't state which one specifically, I'm guessing it's the Miyota caliber 8215. If any of you can correct me, I'd appreciate it. Because on their website, they mention some other models using that same movement. So that's the one I think it is. Now, a few features. Let me just put it on real quick. I have a six and a half inch wrist just to give you a sense of how it looks. It's a 38 millimeter. It does have hacking and quick release clasps. Let me go back and show you the hacking. Just pull it out. Boom. There you go. It's a flat sapphire face and a polished steel body. This is the watch wristband that came with the watch. They have a couple options. If you don't want something like this, I think they have a leather option as well. The watch face is very shiny, reflective, monochromatic, no striations or anything else in there. It's a flat surface. Now, if you look at the minute, hour, and second hands, you can see there are multiple faces on that, two faces, which catch the light rather nicely. One of the reasons I did choose this watch. Same thing on the minute hand markers. As I rotate it back and forth, hopefully you can pick that up. There are quick release pins on the back. I haven't bothered to take them off, actually, uh, because I have been happy with this band. The see-through back, you can see the Miyota movement there, and most of the information about the brand is actually on the back, which I appreciate. Flip it over to the front again. Kniss, automatic, Japan made. Nice and simple. It's not a billboard, which I really appreciate. Case diameter is approximately 38 millimeters. And the thickness is... I don't know if you can see that there. It's a little over 12 millimeters. On the side face, you can see the polished stainless steel. It's a bit of a thick watch, and that's one of my minor quibbles with it. The watch band, you can see, alternates between a polish and a matte finish, which I like. There is no loom on the hands. You can see those white lines, but those are not loom. Some of the other models they sell do have loom if that's important to you. Since this is my dress watch and this is my everyday watch, loom really doesn't bother me or the lack of loom doesn't bother me. It is a bit of a hefty watch, which I can also appreciate. Let's turn on the scale. I don't know if you can see that, but we're at 131 grams for the entire watch. And if we compare it to the Vare with a lighter band, this is at 67, so substantially lighter. Price, I believe, is around 290 on their website, delivered. They do have a discount if you sign up with your email. I think it's 10%.
So what did I like about the watch? Well, it was delivered quickly within a couple days, all the way from Japan via DHL. It has a very simple and clean watch face. I've mentioned that before. You don't have a billboard there describing all the movements and everything else, which I don't care about, honestly. I wanted a nicer dress watch, and this fits the bill. The 38 millimeter fits my hand very nicely. I have approximately a six and a half inch wrist. And as you can see right there, I like the way it looks on my wrist. A 40 millimeter, I feel is just a bit too wide and chonky for my wrist. So I'm glad they have this size. I did take off about an inch and a half of links. I measured it. You can see the markings there. It's really easy to take apart. It was easier than I had feared once I realized the watch was very <laughs> oversized as it originally came. So, what else? I like the band and its clasp. It just pops on and off. It's easy. On, off, go. The price I thought was pretty good for what you got. And it's an automatic. So, as I mentioned, this is my dress watch. So, it doesn't, it's not my everyday wear. I put it in a drawer. It eventually runs down. It stops. I put it on, give it a half a twist or two, and boom, we're off and running for the day. I don't have to fuss about it. It's, we're done. And I did mention the weight before, 120 grams-ish, and I do like how it feels on the wrist. I also have it a little loose, but that's fine. Now, I want to be clear. These are my own comments as to how it, the watch isn't quite perfect for what I would like it to be. Kinnis did a good job on their website telling you everything about the watch, so I'm not trying to imply they were deceptive or anything like that. One note, everything's in Japanese. English is definitely the second language on this, at this company. Here's the manual. There's, it's all in Japanese. Fortunately, these days with technology, that's not big of an issue. But, again, my own quibbles with the watch. If you look at the face, you can see, hopefully you can see, there's a huge number, too many, minute markers or micro minute markers i think that's too many minutes would be just fine it goes to there's two additional ticks in between each minute every 20 seconds i just don't need that it is also a bit thick in my opinion you may like that but i don't know how much of that is the thickness versus the visual impression again this is around 12.2 millimeters this is half a millimeter thinner but I think because of the way the bezel arcs in and the gentle arc of the body, this feels thinner than the half millimeter thinner than it actually is. So, yeah, again, that's a quibble of mine. The face, while distinctive, and I would like to highlight again, because the minute and hand, uh, sorry, the, the markers are have two planes, multiple planes actually. They do catch the light very nicely. So out in the sunlight or just even in inside here, it's rather distinctive and I like that. However, the face is a bit bland and monochromatic. Now I, I chose this one because of the monochromatic face. They do have some others which have some variegation on the watch face as well as of course, after I purchased it, another one with some anodized blue minute hands and a champagne color so if that's something you're interested in go to their website i'm going to put in a copy of what they have an image so you can see they have some variations on a theme but i still think it's just a little bland bland may be the wrong word i think they could play with some colors and some polishing a little more than what they do and they do that right here with the watch band as you can see it goes from a matte to a polish I think I would like to see a little more of them playing with those options or color of some sort on the watch face. Uh, finally, it's not a screw down crown. Now, I know this is something you couldn't, it's a little harder to change, but on a $300 watch, something I plan on keeping for a long time, I live in the Pacific Northwest, it's rainy, it's wet, and you know, 
I just don't want some water intrusion in there to ruin the watch. So a screw down crown would be a definite plus on my, on my list. Um, again, I'm pleased with the watch. I'm happy with what I got. But if I was going to design my own watch, I think those would be the areas I would work on. Uh, one final note here is the box it came in. It's nice, but you know, a watch box does nothing for me. I was just gonna, it sits in my drawer when I'm not using it, and then I take it out and wear it. And then it goes right back in the drawer again. So that's my review of the Kinnis watch. Hopefully. It answered some of your questions, and if you like the way it looks, I would definitely suggest you get one.